Hi everyone, my name's Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. And here at Paul Sherry RVs, we sell RVs nationally. Uh, so if you're in the market for a new RV, by all means, check us out. See why uh, over 500 customers have not only bought units off us, but reviewed us. So definitely take a look at that. We sell uh, nearly a thousand RVs a year. Uh, and not just the people that live near us, we sell them all around the nation uh, due to pricing, good selection, and reputation. So. Behind me today is a all new trailer. It's the Forest River R-Pod. Now they've been building R-Pods for quite a few years. It's the top selling teardrop, teardrop travel trailer in the industry. But just recently they've gone to a more wide body R-Pod on a few select floor plans and that's what we're gonna look at today. This R-Pod is the all new 192 R-Pod. Uh, the wide body R-Pods are a foot wider than your typical R-Pod, but it's still skinnier than your typical travel trailer. So when you're pulling this, you can see with your regular mirrors in most cases on most pole vehicles. Uh, this also allows you to have a couple cool options like a power awning and a ladder uh, to get up onto the roof that you don't typically get on your smaller R-Pods. This particular one comes with the power tongue jack, propane bottle, single propane bottle, pass-through storage up front here, Nice clean storage compartment, has the linoleum, which makes it easier to keep clean. Tinted windows here. This is one way that I tell the difference in the R-Pods is the other R-Pods you see a lot of the fender. Uh, the wider R-Pods you only see maybe six, eight inches of the fender here. This has the outside shower. Some of your electrical hook hookup and cable hookup. Your dump station here. Here's your underbelly. You notice it's all completely insulated and sealed. And then coming to the rear, we have your spare tire mount here. And then here's your ladder I was telling you about to get up onto your roof to do your roof maintenance. By allowing it to be a foot wider than your typical R-Pod, they were able to fit just a lot more inside and have a lot more, a lot bigger amenities. So here we have your outside, uh, kitchenette area here comes with a burner here to cook your food uh, and a basin here what's really cool how the r-pods do it is this whole item here is fully removable if you don't want it and you need the storage so uh, for that wash basin here here's your water port right there Two outside speakers here, they're up high, which is nice, so you don't have the music right in your ears. Adjustable power awning that I have out right now. And again, this is the all new R-Pod 192 Murphy bed. So this is uh, one of the more popular floor plans in the industry, uh, weighing under 3,500 pounds. So you can tell this with most, most pole vehicles. All right, so we're going to back up and look forward. So this again is the Murphy bed, has the couch. The Murphy bed is folded up, wardrobes on both sides of the bed. The bed does come down to a queen size walk around bed. Uh, what I like is um, both of the nightstands, they have power here, both USB and normal power. And then also behind, uh, this is actually a glass insert to this cabinet. There's actually a light behind it, uh, which is really cool uh, for when the cabinet's closed, but also when it's open, you can see what kind of clothes you're pulling out of there. And then on top of these wardrobes, there's actually another shelf of storage up top there. So they really maximize the storage space in these R-Pods uh, to make sure that you have room for all your stuff because it is a smaller travel trailer. And then looking back through here, uh, we have a little bit larger dinette due to the wider body. That comes down for extra sleeping. Some cabinets above it. Television mounted right on the wall. So you can see that from the, from the bed there. Some controls for your awning up top here. This is a non-slide trailer, which I really appreciate. Um, being non-slide, there's still quite a bit of room here in the hallway. If someone was here at the kitchen cooking some food or washing some dishes, another person can easily pass behind. This has the big uh, Dometic RV refrigerator. So this will be a dual mode refrigerator. And then we have a pantry beside it. So three shelves of storage. So plenty of room for your box goods and canned goods. So the bathroom here does have 
Let's see if I can get this with one hand. Yeah. The bathroom here has a nice solid wood door to separate it off. It's a pocket sliding door, uh, which is really nice. And the bathroom is quite large in this. So first off, I always like to talk about the footprint of the bathroom. You can change in this bathroom. Uh, it has a stool here that you can sit on and use. Sometimes that's an issue. Hot and cold water there. And then we have a nice uh, shower here. Uh, with the skyline in it and to give you an idea of height here i'm six foot tall the ceiling's probably six four uh and then if you add the skylight it's going to be a little bit better than that there's a window in the bathroom here that does open which is important and then we have a little bit of a shelf for storage up there and then and here we have a lot of storage so you could put a hanging clothes rod in that one if you wanted to uh, put extra storage there uh, and then also in this bathroom, I do want to point this out. This has the nice, fantastic fan. So this fan will act not only as a fan for just the bathroom, but this is an entire trailer, really. So Kitchen here has some cabinets up top here. Uh, glass insert in these doors as well. And then we have good lighting in here. All LED lights. Uh, they have the sunk down a two burner stove top, the sunk in sink here. It's a nice circular stainless steel sink. Uh, kitchen faucet is stainless as well. And then down here we have our halftime oven, which is a space saver and a time saver, I like to say. So cooks your food in half the time. I had a, I had a lady tell me, Mike, I burnt my biscuits once and then I figured out how to use it. So I don't do much cooking myself, so I think I'd probably just always burn my biscuits. That's typically what I do now. Okay, so that completes that completes this walkthrough on this all new R Pod. So make sure you check it out. I'll post links below that have current pricing and inventory and other R Pods for you to look at in case you like this one, but are looking for a different floor plan. We we stock them very well. So make sure you check out those links below. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.